Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a, another love reading. We're going to be looking at your person's energies towards you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? And then we'll look at what they're feeling, thinking about you, what their real intentions are towards you, and potential actions in the future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, Gemini. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's see what we get for you. For Gemini Spirit, any messages, guidance, please, for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know regarding love? What's going on in Gemini's connection, Spirit? Six of Coin. What's going on in Gemini's connection? Eight of Swords. Hmm. So the message I got is afraid to give. Okay, so let's see if we can get a little bit more insight. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Empress. Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands reverse, Ten of Wands, and Three of Cups. So I feel like this is someone, Six of Cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone who's scared of, I feel, opening up here. Um, I have the Nine of Wands reverse and then the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is someone that is so ready to drop this burden they're carrying. Um, I feel like this is someone that's literally like worn out by what they're thinking. Um, it's almost like what they've been thinking about, you know, and by, by the way, Gemini, this could be you or your person, because this is what's going on in your connection. Um, but someone here has been thinking so much about this that it's gotten to the point where it's just kind of like redundant or someone's really like irritated with themselves. Um, I feel like someone needs to unburden themselves. I have the Knight of Cups and then I have this other energy here. And it's because someone's stuck in the past with the Six of Cups reverse. The past cannot let them rest or they can't let go of the past. Um, I feel like someone's like really scared to reunite with you, come together with you, visit you or see you because maybe you're this empress or vice versa Gemini you might be nervous to approach this person um, I feel like someone's just scared scared to make their thoughts a reality tell me about the six of coin what's the six of coin about the devil Capricorn energy What's the Six of Coin about? Why is the Six of Coin here? Hierophant Reverse, Taurus Energy. So this could be an imbalance. Instead of a, um, the energy of giving and taking with the Six of Coin, you know, typically it's about, you know, equal give and take. But I feel here there's an imbalance with the Devil and the Hierophant Reverse. Now, I don't know if you or your person is stuck in some sort of um, attachment here that has become unhealthy um, with the higher font reverse I'm getting someone who um, really cares about appearances here I'm getting that energy very strongly and it keeps them stuck this is someone that for some reason whatever situation they're in that's terrible they're only in that situation because of appearances I'm not getting any other message other than that for this it's almost like their own expectations of themselves are keeping them there. Um, and with the Eight of Swords, I feel like this has become very unhealthy. Almost like, um, I don't know, like depression or unhealthy habits manifesting, you know, like someone drinking or smoking or something like that like it's it's become unhealthy and i feel like this has been very difficult for someone to to deal with i think you know whoever this is is weighed down by what they feel like they should do and weighed down by their thoughts are consuming them basically queen of wands at the bottom of the deck reverse so they could be dealing with someone very difficult 
Uh, Queen of Wands reverse tends to be vindictive, petty. Um, they stir the pot. That's what I heard. Stir the pot. Um, so they cause problems on purpose. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this could be somebody you're dealing with or someone they're dealing with. But I really feel like you are this Empress Gemini. I think you're like a beacon of hope for, for this person. Or they, I, they, um, they put you on a pedestal. I think someone's very stuck. Whoever this is, they're very stuck. Um, I don't see any sort of action here. Um, I don't see communication here other than the Knight of Cups, but this Knight of Cups, when I saw it, it was like someone, like their emotions here. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Ten of Swords, Reverse. See, I feel like this is this is someone that is struggling a lot. Yeah, the star reverse at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. So I feel like this is someone that wants to move on with their life, um, wants to overcome a difficult ending. Um, two tens here. I feel like this person's reaching like a tipping point. Um, I think emotionally they're not over an ending or they're dealing badly with an ending that must have happened with you, Gemini. We'll see if that comes up. So let me put these here on the side. Or actually, I'm just going to take them off the board and we're going to look at your, your energies for each other. Spirit, tell me more about Gemini and their person. Gemini, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies, reverse the roles if they resonate more for you. Tell me more about Gemini and their person's energies. Tell me about Gemini. What are their energies when it comes to this connection? Tell me about Gemini's energies, please. What are Gemini's energies? Mirrored souls. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. So I feel like this is someone that you, um, you see as a soulmate or a special connection that you have with someone. Tell me about the person Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about the person Gemini is dealing with. Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Bottom of the deck, reach out. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of time has passed. And of course, it's going to be different for all of you. What is a lot of time, right? But I feel like there's been enough time for changes to happen here for your person. Something has changed in their life. Maybe they're going through a transition. Can I get some more insight? Tell me some more insight, please, for Gemini. I will wait for a sign from you. I feel like you're waiting for this person, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's person. Literally, you're waiting for a sign. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, um, this person's doing too much thinking, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, I feel like this person's just kind of like overwhelmed with what they're thinking. Um, and feeling towards you. Spirit, tell me more about Gemini and this person that they are thinking about or dealing with. What do we need to know about Gemini and this other person? What do we need to know about Gemini and this other person? Tell me about Gemini's energies. Tell me about Gemini's energies. What do we need to know about Gemini's energies? Three of Wands. Yeah, you're literally waiting either for a message from this person, communication from this person, or for something to happen. Yeah, for, the, for with this person. Three of Wands, Knight of Wands. Very simple. Whoa. The Empress came out again. See? And the Two of Cups. You are this Empress, Gemini. I don't believe in coincidences that those two cards... You know, mirrored souls, you have the two of cups. I feel like for you, this is a soulmate type of connection, a very strong connection that you have with this person. Tell me more um, about this three of wands, knight of wands. Tell me more about this three of wands, knight of wands for Gemini. Four of cups. So I feel like a lot of you are... Um, some of you feel rejected. The fact that you're not hearing from this person, in your mind, it's almost like a sign of rejection. 
for others of you, I feel like the longer you wait, the less hopeful you are. Because there is no action from this person. You're in waiting mode here. Tell me more about the Three of Wands, Knight of Wands. What do we need to know? The star, Aquarius energy. You still have hope though. You still have hope that something could happen here, that something could manifest here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I have Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, you you are still holding on to this, this idea of this person um, making their way to you or contacting you or something to happen because in your mind, this is a mirrored soul. This is a soulmate. This could even be like a twin flame or a past life connection. And you feel that very strongly. Tell me if that resonates for you in the comments. But I feel like literally this is this is you, Gemini. You're waiting for this, this night to come in. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It does not have to be. I'm surprised that there's no, um, the hermit hasn't showed up, to be honest, because it always shows up for Gemini's. Um, we could also be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Leo energy here with strength. But um, I feel like your energy is very strong, Gemini. Very focused, um, which tells me almost like and not a lot has changed here. It's almost like you've settled into this energy. Okay, tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about Gemini's person. What do I need to know about Gemini's person? The higher font, Taurus energy. What do we need to know about Gemini's person? This person, that Gemini. Oh my God, that one just like flew out. Eight of Swords, reverse. I mean, I kind of flipped it, so I'm gonna just put it like that. The Eight of Swords and the higher font. So. Once again, the Eight of Swords shows up. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor reversed, Aries energy here. This person feels like the situation could be out of their control. Um, I think this person, they're struggling with getting out of their own head here. Um, and I think this person, you're dealing with someone very stubborn, okay? Someone very stubborn and 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 very um, set in their ways to a, to an extent here. Um, I'm getting an energy of someone who, once again, they really care about doing the right thing or being seen as they're doing the right thing, and this literally cripples them. Let's see what else we got. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? Page of Wands. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. Nine of Wands reverse. So we got the Nine of Wands reverse again. We have the Page of Wands and then the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands reverse. So what I'm getting here is almost like someone who, you know, especially with the Nine of Wands reverse, um, this person is very um, conflicted. I feel like this is someone who, you know, the Nine of Wands reverse could be someone who's about to give up, someone who is overwhelmed, too tired to defend themselves or guard themselves, um, paranoid. Also, the Nine of Wands reverse. The one Nine of Wands reverse could be somebody who they are stubbornly defensive or resistant, right? Like they're they're resisting too much or too guarded, too too on the defense, right? But what I'm getting here is someone that's like really close to giving up because I got that energy when I saw the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands together. It's almost like someone's ready, like almost like they can't keep this up. So I feel like this person goes back and forth be between Page of Wands, wanting to take initiative, take the steps to do something, and the Nine of Wands reverse because I have the Ace of Wands reverse. So it's almost like either something's preventing this person from having this new beginning, probably courage, 
there's strength again. Or this is a situation that your person is conflicted about because they can't get out of their own head. There's a six of swords, yeah. They probably have to leave a situation. They probably have to walk away from, from something. Uh, leave the difficulty behind because make no mistake, the devil showed up. So, you know, this eight of swords, if let's, it's in limbo right here in this spread, but you know, the eight of swords reverse is literally a card about breaking free out of this mental prison you put yourself in. So let's see, let's see a little bit more about this person. What do we need to know about this person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Gemini showed up. Happy. This person, I feel they just want to be happy. I think, once again, you're a beacon of hope. I, I just get this, like, you're a light for this person. Um, it's like when they think about you, they, they think happy things. Um, I feel like this is also someone who... Um, you are a... Not a distraction, but almost like when their life is a mess, they think about their one the one thing that like make them happy before or something like that but basically with gemini showing up here i think this person is just always thinking about you tell me more about this person what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person spirit what do we need to know about this person oh the deer came up and then cheetah so the deer is kind of like the queen of cups for me in this deck I think they really do. It's like the cheetah is literally looking at this deer. It's almost like this person would love to rush in and go after the person they care about or be with the person they care about. So what are their true intentions then? Are they planning to do anything about this? Spirit, tell me about this person's intentions towards Gemini. What are their intentions towards Gemini? What are their intentions towards Gemini? What are their intentions? What are their intentions towards Gemini? Six of Pentacles reverse. See, that six of coin, this is about an imbalance. I feel like this person cannot give. They cannot give to this to what they want to give. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Two of Cups, yeah. So they feel the they feel the connection to Gemini. Mirrored souls. You're literally mirroring each other. Um what are their intentions? Can I get one more please? What are this person's intentions? Four of Swords reverse, okay. Can I get one more? Eight of Pentacles. So what I see here is someone that's... Um, hmm. I feel like they're putting their thoughts into action in a way. I have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is a card about freedom, independence. I feel like this person with the Four of Swords, this is like after you're thinking, reflecting a lot, you're ready to get up and keep moving, right? You're ready to do something about everything you've been reflecting on or you've done all of the healing that you needed to do and now you're ready to move on um however this six of pentacles reverse and this eight of coin is almost like I'm, I'm picturing someone that knows there's a block and they need to get rid of that block first i don't know if this person is married because the higher font did show up twice um i didn't i don't really want to make that like a I don't want to hyper focus on that because the higher font I feel is telling me more than a marriage or a contract. I'm getting someone who is literally crippled by the expectations they put on themselves. But I think when it comes to their intentions, I think they really are intending to do something about what they've been thinking so much about. It's like they want to put their thoughts into action, right? They want to 
go after their queen of cups here um the person that truly makes them happy the person that's like a beacon of hope for them they want to be with that person that's very clear um uh otherwise i'll leave it here gemini thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of your shares likes comments thank you so much um if you'd like to subscribe to see more videos from me then make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button um you can also hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of when i post and i will see you all in another video very soon take care